I want to officially start my clock here. Make sure I got my route planned. Okay, so I've lapped out my stops. I have <clears throat> a total of eight. This is being my first one here. Okay, and I'm on the clock. Yes. So, I haven't done an iron butt since last year. Oh, I can't get this tank bag to work here. So, this is my trial run before my 48 and 10. So, I gotta get everything dialed in. I'm at 1,372 miles. So I have this guy, which will go right here. Okay. Gloves on, let's go. Thank you, quick trip, for being my first stop. I don't go anywhere else in Wisconsin. <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Start riding because we got a lot of miles to put on today. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Let's go. Spot two. Um, I am pretty much right on time. Stopped at, it's supposed to be a quick trip, but. I guess it's associated with it, I don't know. But leaving Janesville right now, so I'm gonna be out of Wisconsin, headed to Michigan next for my next stop, and yeah, I won't be back in Wisconsin until next week. But doing pretty well, just gotta keep rolling. Okay. Officially at stop number three for the morning, I have changed time zones and I'm in Michigan. So I went through Illinois, Indiana, and now into Michigan all on one tank of gas. So like, this is awesome. I officially like this better than riding my Sportster and having to stop so much. So I am headed to another stop in Michigan yet this afternoon and then going to make my way south through Ohio, Pennsylvania, and then ending up almost near New York. But you'll get a kick out of where I'm headed to next. So let's ride. So I decided I'm headed to Babes right now, over in Narrowsburg, New York. It is about 950 some miles. I was like, you know what? What's another 50? Actually, it's technically like 70. <laughs> What's another 70? Almost 100 miles. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> So I was like, you know what, this is a good time to really test out my endurance, get my long distance butt in gear, or numb, nonetheless, <laughs> and just get used to riding this many miles, practice my gas stops, make everything as fluid as possible before my 48 and 10. So that was the real true reason why I wanted to do iron butt and plus just to get another iron butt in my <laughs> on my records for this bike too. It's like you know what? I want to. I almost contemplated doing a bun burner fifteen hundred but the Welcome to Hell. Hell Michigan that is <laughs> So I've seen this place numerous times through a lot of the Iron Butt Association rides that I ride, like to hell and back, which I could possibly do here and turn around and still get my Iron Butt saddle sore. But then there's to Heaven to Hell, or Heaven to Hell, which I think is somewhere out in like West Virginia area maybe, I'm not sure, the state. But then you go to hell here and you go back, um, it's just fun. But there's the nicest people here. It's fantastic. One of the guys had a resident shirt on and he was very helpful finding the gas, like 
um, where the gas is and the bathroom is and other recommendations so it's definitely a touristy little incorporated town. I'm gonna go grab some ice cream just to show that I've been here for my receipt. Maybe grab something to eat but just relax for a little bit, chill out in the shade. It's bright here and yeah relax before we gotta go back on the road. It's gonna be 10 hours on the bike yet so I pulled off right off the highway, so I don't know if you can hear me or not, but we're at stop five, and I am over halfway through. I just hit 2,000, well, I'm at 2,023 for my odometer, so that's awesome. <laughs> just on Tuesday, I was at 1,000, so this is really cool to see, but hit a lot of rain. I don't know if you can see it. And then um, I'm technically in Ohio for a very short amount of time, and then I'll be in Pennsylvania for the next two stops. And then I'll be done. Tentatively, my arrival is just a little bit before midnight, so I'm probably gonna get there around like one o'clock because of the rain. So fingers crossed. Hopefully things go well the rest of the day. It's almost six o'clock. <laughs> six more hours of this. All right, see you guys soon. This is what I get for trying to do multiple things at once. <laughs> Need to just concentrate on filling up with gas. I don't get a receipt. Oh, damn it. Okay, I gotta run into the gas station because I don't have a receipt. Great. But I'm in Pennsylvania. I've got one more stop in Pennsylvania and then I will hit my ending mark for this 1000 saddle sore. Crazy. I think I'm at 250, less than 250 miles away to go. Four more hours. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be good. I just need to go. Alright. She's doing well. I'm doing well. We're out of the rain. So all I can do is just cruise during the night. Should be good. I was going to just skip this. What is it? Number seven stop because I probably could have made it all the way to my final destination with the gas that I had. But, let's see this. My comms died. With 80, maybe 90 miles left. So I've been riding just straight wind noise for the last two hours. So I needed something else to keep me busy. Because I have, what do you say, less than 80 miles? Yeah, less than 80 miles, and I'll be at my final destination and I'll hit over a thousand marks. So. I want to keep talking, but I got to keep moving just because it is 11.30. If I can get there before um, midnight, 1 o'clock, that would be great. So that's the plan. I'm a little tired, hungry, because I really haven't had much to eat at all today except for eggs I made this morning and the sandwich that I had in House, Michigan that I split halfway in between, so I'm getting fatigued. <laughs> the semis are pretty rough right now, fighting the wind and motorcycles, so all right, let's keep rolling. We're almost there. <laughs> so I have to say the headlights on this Pan America are fantastic at night. Every curve that I didn't have the confidence to do, it like, I don't know if it's adaptive, whatever it is, it like, when you lean into the curve, it lights up the curve. That was like, perfect for me. So, let's do the math. 1,044 miles in, see it's technically 12 o'clock right now, midnight. 20 hours. 20 hours! <laughs> Sweet! I did it! Okay. Well, I gotta get... I don't want to putz around here. I just don't want to be hanging out at the gas station. I have to go check into my hotel, so I'm going to check in with you guys in about five miles. Okay? Okay. 
Feels good. Last night I was just purely exhausted after like the hardest part of the whole entire day was this last portion to get to the hotel. It was 25 miles an hour, wet, cold, wooded area, turns, curves, all that stuff. So, and it was a steep incline and decline to get down here. So, most nerve wracking part of it, but I am complete. I am finished. I am super excited that I did this. I think after posting it in the Iron Butt um, Facebook group, I might be the first one to do it on a Pan America Saddlesore 1000, which is kind of cool to say. But this bike has been an absolute game changer for completing iron butts. I have heated grips, I have cruise control, I have adaptive headlights. When you go into a turn, it actually lights up the turn for you. There's so many more things. And plus this freaking bike holds like 250 miles each gas tank or gas trip. So it's like <laughs> I've had to fill up half the amount of times is what I did for my first iron butt. But I need to get on the road, I need to grab some breakfast, and I need to head to Babes Ride Out. So that's the goal for today, and we are going to make it quite the weekend. So if you want to see any more of these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be sharing my 48 and 10, um, especially the Babes Ride Out event too, if you're looking at that. All of the things for this, this summer, but thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys later. Take care.